All right, Tubies, I'm back again. Um, I just posted a video response. F supposed to be a video, the video contest for Black Rose about how uh, funny you can be, and um, the the winner gets you know tarot cards, and that's but that's irrelevant. So I just got through doing that one, and uh, now I'm stuck in a funny mood. Don't know why. Had that bad thing to do. Anyway, so um. I just wanted to rant a little bit. I'm stuck in that. Get this funny uh, uh, out of me. And um, hopefully I'll get a cackle out of it. Or a jiggle or a blubber or a hug or whatever you do. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, you know me. So, you know I like a lot of history. And I like to talk about history. And when I'm trying to tell a joke, I usually like to incorporate history. And uh, history being like one of the prime things people use in comedy. Um, I mean, like the most freaking funniest people are the Romans. Uh, the Romans, I mean, was, uh, rape and pillage, rape and pillage. Do you ever wonder if they said, God, I'm bored? But I don't think they've ever gotten to that point. There's a rape and pillage, rape and pillage. Oh, look, I got, I got another country. Oh, fuck, rape and pillage, rape and pillage. Oh, shit, we're all dead. You know, and that's the way that goes with, with, with the Romans, and that's basically the history. Um, with the exception of the fighting between the pagans and the Christians, and, you know, my God, you're good, my God, you're good. But who's winning? You know, we never really know, and we still don't friggin' know. Um, it was Christianized by a pagan, so we don't really know how that one turned out. Um, I'm sure he was held at knife point. I don't know. I really couldn't tell you. I wasn't there. Um, but yeah. But that was the Romans, and the Germans were hilarious as hell. They're like, no, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. well, f well, fuck you all. I'm gonna attack the world two times. How about that? Um, and I'm German, because I'm trying to, I know, I know, Germans are fucking blockheaded. We are, we are just, and that's the way it is. And trust, I mean, ask anybody that knows me, I am stubborn as a freaking, freaking, you know, it's a mule. It's a freaking mule, and that's what it's, a mule. And, uh, you were kind of like, nope, nope, mm-mm, mm-mm, uh-uh, 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 you know, you know, just kind of like, fuck, you know. Nobody wants to hang around with a German. Nobody does. Just like, and then in the same times, they're kind of like the Italians. They're kind of just like, uh, 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 uh. oh, are you gonna kill us? <laughs> okay, uh, all right. <laughs> so that I mean, that's kind of how the Germans go. Hi, hi. Um, the Italians never really gave a shit. You know, really, when it, even when Mussolini signed, they're just kind of like, oh, fuck it. We're all fascists. All right. Shit. <laughs> Okay, and so they just went about them about the merry lives, and then when hit, when Mussolini actually tried to do something, the Italians go, nah, <laughs> which is great. I love the Italians. I love the food. Um, love the dancing and the spices and the oils and you know all that. Um, and that's Italy, really, really. Italy has a really big history with the Pope. You know, oh, it's with the Pope. I mean, it's the Pope. Papa, Papa, whatever they call it. I don't fucking know. Um. Anyway, Italians again. The Italians. Um, the Scottish and the Vikings, they have a little bit of history in there. But they're more like of another, like kind of like the Romans. A rape and pillage, rape and pillage, rape and pillage. And there's nothing that a Viking likes more after he's done raping and pillaged after the end of the day is a nice hot cup of cocoa. Yes, they all love cocoa. And just like the Aztecs that had cocoa so strong they were fucking stoned all the time. Yes, and that is true. They were fucking stoned. How do you think... Cortez won all of the time. That's how Cortez won, because they were fucking stoned off of chocolate. I shit you not, that's how I think that was. Not entirely, but that was part of it. A little bit of a lot. But, and uh, so that's with the Vikings. They were just raping and pillaging, raping and pillaging. And, and, you know, people argue, well, I thought the Vikings discovered America. Well, they did, but the problem is nobody really gave a shit, really. And that was the truth. Nobody gave a shit, really. But when a European finds out, oh, yeah, he won, he won. yeah. He, he, he got the credit for that one. But people are still pissed at that one. Um, and, uh, so, and, uh, we have the Spanish, who started it all, started the whole conquest. And they were feeling good, because they won the Reconquista by finding the U.S. They said, oh, fuck it, we're bored. Uh, what was that guy's name? What was his name? Uh, the, uh, the Colombo. Cristoforo Colombo. His real name, actually. And, um, 
So he summoned him in, and they said, okay, we'll waste our money on you, Farquhar. Because he really had no idea what he was doing. Well, he did, but all the courtly scholars everywhere he went said, no, 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 it couldn't possibly be done. And they were right. Uh, but they said, yeah, I don't feel like wasting money. You go for it. And, you know, big investment for them, then, you know. Um, and, of course, they, the, the crown, the Spanish crown, had a... Uh, I'm gonna say it was a child. I'm gonna say it was a child. The daughter was Catherine of Aragon, which was King Henry VIII's first daughter, well, the first wife, was his brother's wife actually. And um, after he died, he took her. And he, she was also the niece of the Pope, so what a pain in the ass that had to have been. But needless to say, I guess that's why he divorced her. Um, but Henry VIII went upon the Pope. I mean, and you know, talking about England, it's hilarious history. I mean. Oh, the Tudors, very rough tumble people. Which always cut somebody's fucking head off and loved it. Um, and even Elizabeth, she loved to cut off a few heads every now and again. It was always fun for her, I guess. Oh. I mean, she was her father's daughter, after all. And, uh, but, but, but Henry, but Henry VIII, he, he said, well, f well, he said to the Pope, well, fuck you! I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Which is basically what I say nowadays. And, um, so he divorces his first wife. Kills the second one, and the third one finally has an heir who becomes King James. Da la 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 la. Um, waste of my energy there. Uh, so could you imagine having eight wives and then having to dispose them all in that time? Oh my God. <sighs> I guess some people nowadays want to cut their spouse's head off. So I don't blame him. Right, obviously. Um. And he was succeeded by his daughter, Elizabeth, which was hilarious. She, yes, she was a virgin queen. She was a virgin queen. She, so many men, it was even funny, but she was a virgin queen, yes. That's why they named Virginia after her. She was a virgin queen. Which we all know, metaphorically speaking, she was a queen that would not give up her government to a man. Which is bold. I just call her stuff like this. But, anyway. Um, and so that's England. But all the great, all the countries, you know, to sum this whole thing up, all the countries had great leaders, except Ireland. <laughs> we've had, we've had good leaders, we have good leaders. Some of them are cowardly, some of them are stupid, some of them were intelligent, and, uh, some of them died. Yeah. But, the funny thing about America is, we still have some of the funniest freaking laws still intact. For example, um, in Texas, I know Texas, a lot of them to Texas, a woman can walk down the street naked. As long as she walks in a straight line, like she's doing a, uh, one of the drunk tests the cops give them, what the fuck are they called, the, uh, the, the, <laughs> Z-Y-X, those ones. Um, I don't know the purpose of that law, but, you know, but there's one stupid one that says, when two trains meet, one, they are both not allowed to leave until the other one is gone. Figure that one out. And there's one that was said, um... You are not allowed to hunt buffalo out of the third story of a building, but after the 60s, we all know you weren't allowed to shoot much of shit out of the third story of a building. Uh, <clears throat> yes, poor man Kennedy was. Uh, but, but anyway. Oh, and another one is in Kansas. You're not allowed to well hunt in Kansas. Yeah. Figure that one out. Yeah. And we're not talking about the, 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 that one person down the street that's bigger than his house. Uh, bling, bling, bling. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to rant a little bit on that and uh, see what y'all thought. Um, but, um, if anybody wants to post a video response, they can leave a little bit of a little uh, a message at the bottom. Perhaps a little bit about history. I love history. I want to know more about history. Tell me something that I might not know about history. I want to... I want to know, seriously, if you can come up with something that I don't know, or that I could, will tell you that I do know and really don't, but, you know, still, I just always want to know, like, nice to know. Um, but anyway, uh, I am full of energy, as you can tell. Anyway, that's my ramble. I'm going on my ten minute mark here, so don't fucking cut me off. But, uh, have a blessed week, everyone. Bye.